it's the thing that I feel the most shame of in my entire life. I, I do not like any of the, the acting work that I have ever, like any of the projects that I've been a part of as an actor. And even talking about it. There's a lot going on in the world of television and movies, and at times it can be hard to go and keep up with things. But every once in a while, a new show or a returning show gets a lot of attention for one reason or another. And the show that's been getting that attention is that of iCarly. The beloved show from a bygone era, more or less of Nickelodeon, is coming back via the rebranded Paramount+. Plus. But while many are happy for the show's return in one form or another, there is a question that needs to be answered. Where's Jeanette McCurdy? I'm gonna break it down for you, but first, do me a favor, leave a like on this video, and subscribe to the channel. And with that being said, let's get started. Do you want to win an iPhone 12? Maybe a MacBook Pro? How about $500 cash? All you have to do is comment the secret hidden message somewhere in this video. That's it. Oh, and leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel so we can keep affording these giveaways. Winner will be announced at the last day of each month. Thanks for watching and good luck. Number 6. The Return of iCarly First and foremost, yes! iCarly is coming back via a sequel series slash reboot kind of deal. However, the iCarly reboot is not going to be on Nickelodeon like the original series. Instead, it's been picked up by the new streaming service Paramount+. Plus. It is expected to be one of the first main shows for it, which puts a lot of pressure for the reboot to succeed. Overall, this is definitely an intelligent move by Paramount, as a reboot for a show that was so revered during its original run will surely bring in a lot of attention. It should do a good job keeping up with its competitors if the show provides amazing content. There's a lot to be excited about when it comes to who is going to be back in this reboot slash sequel series as it has been confirmed that Miranda Cosgrove, Nathan Kress, and Jerry Trainer are all going to be brought back for the reboot. This is spectacular news, as they definitely were among the most beloved characters from the original run. However, when it comes to Jeanette McCurdy, not only has she not been announced to return for it, a set photo of the sequel slash reboot was posted on Paramount Plus's Twitter page, and she wasn't on it. And if you listen to her describe her experiences on the show, and a certain other show, you'll see why. Number 5 how the past haunts us. Though McCurdy has not spoken publicly about the reboot, she's previously spoken about stepping away from acting after what she's called the psychological trauma of being a child star. This was from a since deleted bio on her own website, where she wrote, I started out as a child actor that certainly lent some physiological trauma. Sound guys can be especially creepy. That bio has since been updated, but is still hardly positive about her time as a teen actor. It now reads, Jeanette McCurdy got her start in child acting, which by her late teen years had brought her success. She starred in Nickelodeon's hit show iCarly and her own spinoff Sam and Cat. Despite her outside success, McCurdy felt ashamed of 90% of her resume and ultimately unfulfilled. So she turned to alcohol, but since that didn't work, she quit acting and began pursuing writing slash directing in 2017. In a Huffington Post op-ed, she went into more detail about feeling unfulfilled in her work on the set of Sam and Cat, which she starred in alongside Ariana Grande. Particularly, she spoke about how it re-triggered her eating disorder. McCurdy wrote, I had also become acutely aware that I was a role model for kids, which I felt like I was supposed to find cool, but actually found upsetting. She described why. My great contribution to society was walking onto an overlit Nickelodeon set shouting lines about fried chicken, and that's what kids were looking up to. But there was something about the shallowness of my success that made me resent it. That resentment festered, providing even more fuel for my disordered eating. I actively began to engage in anorexic behavior again. Now we'd like to say that this ended after she left iCarly, but that wasn't the case at all. Number 4. Sam's Feud with Cat the ending of iCarly came at a very interesting time on Nickelodeon as another key series in Victorious ended, which was the show that gave birth to the career of Ariana Grande in many ways. Nickelodeon felt that the two side characters of Sam, McCurdy, and Cat Grande had potential for a new show and thus Sam and Cat was born. The problem though was that during the run of the show, McCurdy went and did an open letter of sorts and noted the concept of fake friends, meaning ones who seem to be your friend but aren't. She didn't name names, but it was very clear to fans and others that she was talking about Ariana Grande, so much so that she noted that while they used to have fun together, they eventually became estranged because of a certain someone loving drama and gossip. McCurdy even said that working together with said person was detrimental to her mental health, which tracks with things she said about her run on iCarly. It also came out that the two butted heads a lot on set, and this, among other factors, would lead to Sam and Cat not lasting long on Nickelodeon at all. Adding to that, McCurdy noted that Nickelodeon put her in an uncomfortable, compromising, unfair situation. So, it's no surprise that she did not want to return for more, especially as she had quit acting as noted earlier. 
Number three, the dark side of child acting. Believe it or not, there were other reasons why McCurdy had plenty of motive to go and leave Nick and move on with her life, but we'll leave those to be as we want to focus on the larger issue that Jeanette has shown us, child stars and their treatment. It may seem as though what happened to McCurdy is an isolated incident, but it's not. There are many child stars across all brands and channels that cracked, broke, or went through a lot of trauma because of the roles they've taken. Starting with Nickelodeon, look at Amanda Bynes. At one time, she was one of the biggest stars on Nickelodeon, but now she's broken mentally because she was diagnosed with bipolar disorder way too late, and her actions very much destroyed her career. We can't say just how much Nickelodeon helped in that break, but they had to know something was off with her, and yet they did nothing. Or how about Disney Channel? They've had numerous people under their care break under pressure, like Orlando Brown from That's So Raven, or another person you might recall, Miley Cyrus. Yeah, she was their top star for years, but then due to some contract issues over names and rights, Disney put the screws to Cyrus, and she was so relieved to be out of their clutches that she became, well, Miley Cyrus. And there are many, many more cases like this that go beyond shows like iCarly, Hannah Montana, and more. How about Harry Potter, where star Daniel Radcliffe was one of the most known actors in Hollywood because he was Harry Potter. And then once the pressure was off him due to being out of the franchise, he, well, went off and did his own things for better or for worse, with most of it being for the worst. But Curdy is not a lone example here because these child stars have lots of pressure put upon them to not just perform, but keep the quality of the show up. For McCurdy, she was coming in for iCarly at what many might call a golden age of Nickelodeon shows. Everyone wanted this to be a big hit, and that meant putting a lot of pressure on the stars like McCurdy. And as she noted, it broke her. So unlike many, many other stories about actors not doing something because they want to do something else or aren't getting paid enough, McCurdy isn't doing this reboot because she wants to protect her mental health, and there's nothing wrong with that at all. Number two. The other shoe. The other curious thing that makes McCurdy's decision to go and skip this reboot mean more is that apparently this is going to be a more adult oriented take on the franchise, meaning that the problems they deal with are more grown up problems than the ones that kids would be in the know about. After all, when iCarly was on Nick, it was tailored to kids full stop, but because of the age difference in the cast, they're apparently taking more of a adult sitcom approach. Why does this matter to Jeanette McCurdy? Well, because she might fear that the writers and team would want to take elements from her life and put it into the show, which for her would be very much a nightmare scenario. Or they might have her character go and do things she's uncomfortable with and thus do more harm to her mental state. So when you pile that onto the other issues outlined, she has every reason to bow out. Number one, maybe a cameo. That being said, there might be one way that they go and get Jeanette McCurdy to come back to fold for the reboot, a cameo or a singular episode that's focused on her. Because obviously they need to address where Sam is as she was Carly's best friend. But with Jeanette McCurdy not wanting to be in the show at all full measure, they might be able to convince her to come back for one episode, explain what happened between her and Carly, and then leave and not have her come back. Obviously though, they would need Jeanette to sign off on this, and that might be a bit hard, but it's not impossible should she be given the script ahead of time and be able to ensure that she or her character doesn't come off as bad. Whether they'll even attempt this though is unclear. So what do you think? What do you think of this look at Jeanette McCurdy and why she's not likely to return to iCarly's reboot outside of maybe a cameo or a special episode? Do you think that it's fair that McCurdy feels this way? Do you feel bad that she went through so much at Nickelodeon? What do you think is going to happen to iCarly's reboot without her? Go ahead and leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time on the channel.